So, um, regardless of what we've uh, talked about so far, Hightail modding specifically, okay, Hightail modding specifically, the technical director of Hightail over here has um, given some indications on Hightail modding, which is very interesting for us, okay? First things first, modding is at the core of Hightail. I think that this is awesome. This is absolutely amazing and this is great. There are four different pillars of content categories. There are server plugins. This is our Java, right? This is extend the functionality of server programmatically. So this is where you need Java for. This is going to be extremely powerful, allows deep modification to the gameplay experience and core server systems. I like this. And you can also build mini games, economies, commands, custom logic, new asset types, and more. So this is going to be the, well, basically programming, right? This is going to be our server plugins programming. Then we have data assets. This is going to be our JSON files. We know this from Minecraft modding, right? This is going to be blocks, items, NPCs in this case also. So this has gameplay behavior built in. This is what uh, the Java devs on Minecraft dream of uh, when they think about a Java marketplace so that you can actually have um, sort of NPC behavior and gameplay behavior defined in JSON files only, right? So that you literally just have a JSON file and you can create a completely different block with it and it just is there. Awesome and also pretty freaking nice. Then we got art assets. This should be, I mean, this makes a lot of sense, right? Models, sounds, textures. Uh, using Blockbench in this case for the um, for the models and textures and animations. Really freaking cool. I like this. And lastly here, save files. This is going to be worlds and prefabs. So this would be for um, for the builders, right? So this is for the builders. I think that that's pretty neat and it, uh, actually pretty cool. Yeah, and then basically there's a couple of different um, answers over here. It's like, where's Lua and scripting? I think it's very fair. Basically, they want to provide something for like non-programmers, right? So they want to like help them. And I think they are, they are like long term, as they say right here, their long term view is visual scripting. I think that's totally fine. I don't I don't mind it. I feel like uh, visual scripting is totally fine. Um, And uh, I think this is going to be good and this is going to be awesome, right? So this is going to be like the Unreal Engine Blueprint system. I think this is really good. Uh, I personally am not the fa a fan of visual scripting. This is my personal opinion. This is, is because I'm a, I'm a programmer at heart. It is what it is. But the thing about it is that usually when you have a visual scripting element behind the scenes, it's always normal code, right? It, that you can see. It's just that it's like set up visually. And as you can see, programmers are more productive when they stay in a programming language and expose high level nodes. So basically the idea is that you can probably still go into the nodes themselves and, and, and you know, basically write their, your own code in there. What does that mean? Like visual scripting, what does that mean? So this is visual scripting. Basically, you can program completely normally, but you can see it's, it's like you have like functions, custom events. So in this uh, case, it would be a do a slow function. And then you have a for each loop right here. And you put something in there. You say, okay, what is the array you want to uh, loop through? You want to loop through all items. And then you have an element over here. Get actor. You have a branch, right? Like you have a specific condition right here. If this is true, then you do something. So this is visual uh, scripting. Like I said, personally, not my thing because I just like my program code like this, right? I write, like it written down, but that's just because that's how I learned it. I know a lot of people really like and are really efficient with visual scripting. And I think that that's awesome. And I think the fact that they want to go that route is not a bad thing. Uh, it's just probably not like 100% for me. As long as it's still possible to do normal um, uh, scripting and normal programming, I'm totally fine, right? Like I, I have no issues with that whatsoever. I think having that as an example is like super cool and super good. So overall, really cool. Now, one tool that they already have available basically uh, day one is going to be Hightail Assets Editor right here, which is freaking awesome. So we're going to take a look at this over here just for a second. And basically, uh, we're going to be able to see that this is the Assets Editor right here. And you can see there's all sorts of different things that we can add. This gives me slight sort of Roblox um, uh, Roblox vibes, as in Roblox, the, like the Roblox Studio Editor. Uh, because you also have like uh, so many different like uh, things and, and, and nodes and things you can add over here. But this is really cool. So basically they're they're changing the properties of this um, of this art right here. So you can see that they're making this like um, center void and you can see that when they as they change stuff, so does the does the thing change and then they change the position and they're doing all sorts of crazy things right here. You can set, change the pitch. It, this seems really in depth and it seems like there's a lot of things to do. And man, I mean, if this is and this is just like a spawner sort of uh, property particle, right? This is literally just like a particle that's spawning. Whoa, we OK, like I can't even I mean, just imagine the things that we are going to be able to do with this. It seems quite extensive and I like it. I like it a lot. OK, so it's going to be it's going to be very interesting. Then, of course, Blockbench plugin makes a lot of sense, right? For the 3D models, 
Which, by the way, I mean, Jesus, right? Like, how the heck, man? Do not look up the 3D models that I make, okay? Because that is crazy stuff to me, okay? This is crazy stuff to me. Uh, here, they already have some nodes, apparently. So this is already some... I've, I've actually not seen this before. Oh, this is... Is this um, root biome generation? Ayo, excuse me? <laughs> Hello? Yes, please? Okay. Oh, there you go. That's just the... I think this is... um. Let's see. Let's go down. Yep. Assets Graph Editor. An unfinished internal editor we use for temporary solution for world generation, creative tools, brushes, NPCs, and hopefully more. So they already have sort of a graph editor. Amazing. 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 They have machinima tools, uh, creative tools. I mean, geez. Come on, man. Like... It's going to be crazy. Now, in the very beginning, they will not have the source code released for the server. This is likely going to happen one or two months after the release, but it is not obfuscated, so you can decompile it theoretically. Because the first, I think the first step they want to do is they want to make it so that you can, um, you are going to be able to use the, well, the, basically the tools given right here for this. I think that that's totally fine. I am super excited for this. This is going to be so damn cool. It's going to be so damn cool. And, you know, once the once the server plugins, uh, like once the server stuff comes out and we can modify this, it, we're going to jump in, okay? There's there's 100% going to be a, a tutorial series on this. In whatever way that this is going to manifest, obviously, I'll have to learn this as well. So we'll see. I think the first thing that's going to happen once all of this stuff happens, like the, once all of the... um. Once all of the uh, different uh, like content creation methods come out, right, like the server plugins and, and all of that, people are going to rush in and they're going to make mods that are from Minecraft and they're going to immediately just port them to Hytale, right? I think we're going to, I think it's not going to be too long until we see Create in Hytale, which I'm going to be real, I'm kind of hyped for, okay? It, it would be so damn cool, okay? I just, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just so cool.